A very good afternoon and welcome back. So after the tree break, after the tree break, we'll discuss about this EDM, EDC, and WDM. Uh, EDM stands for basically electric discharge machining, EDC, electric discharge coating, and WDM that's war electric discharge machining. So my presentation talk consists of these steps. First on the introduction part, in which we discuss about the basic of EDM process. Then electric discharge machining is capability, is uh, efficiency, and uh, is process principle. Then electric discharge coating. What is the need of basically electric discharge coating? Electric discharge coating basically a modified version of electric discharge machining, and uh, we'll discuss it in detail about how electric discharge coating can be used to modify the electric discharge machining setup for our benefits. And then a brief detail of uh, where electric discharge machining will be discussed. And finally, conclusions and future scope. So moving on. Uh, in the last session, we discussed about the defined aspects of machining and machining processes. And we all know that machining process is a substrate type manufacturing process. So manufacturing, if we uh, take a look of the definition of manufacturing process, the manufacturing process means the conversion of raw material into finished product or some value addition to the raw materials. And for that, we need some energy sources. Okay, if we wish to convert raw material into finished product, beside man, machine, money, we need some energy sources or method so that we can easily convert the raw material into finished product. So this is the uh, basically the thermal energy or the heat energy is the most efficient energy, most uh, easily available energy that can be used by which we can convert a raw metal into final product and the manufacturing process which are uh, which depends on this thermal energy those are known as thermoelectric manufacturing processes or thermal related manufacturing processes so today we will in this session we will discuss about thermal or thermoelectric type manufacturing processes so thermal processing are uh, as uh, like uh, like machining processes like conventional machining processes that there is a classification of machining process like machining process that I did to three types conventional or traditional advanced and hybrid the thermal processing or thermal type manufacturing processor can be classified in two groups conventional and advanced the conventional thermal processing are characteristic characterized by low energy density pulses the used for longer duration that be the example of heat treatment and it is used for the structural transformation in case of heat treatment the working temperature or the operating temperature in between melting temperature of the workpiece and basic leak sterilization temperature for example annealing of uh, annealing of for example annealing if you wish to carry out annealing process for a 0.8% etoctile steel that is 0.8% carbon steel we have to what do we have to do we have to keep it, uh, keep in, uh, keep the workpiece in the harness, and heat it up above the osteosis temperature that is near about eight or eight hundred or eight fifty degrees centigrade, and and keep it, keep this workpiece harness itself without any further heat input. Okay, as a result, we will get a slowest cooling rate, and after that, we will get coarse pearlite as final <coughs> microstructure. So basically. This is conventional thermal process where low energy density pulses are used for a longer duration for a, the working time the working temperature is low but the working time time is high the first example is heat treatment and second one is the welding where the working temperature is in between t vaporization or the working vaporization temperature of workpiece and melting temperature of workpiece for example arc welding now move these conventional techniques are very much popular in industries but is, these are having some undesirable effects for example higher heat, heat consumption because the time duration is high sorry time is short but the uh, temperature is high and uh, then excessive thermal distortion this is the main problem undesirable structure transformation and inaccuracy for welding this is inaccuracy nothing but the defects of welding okay so we moving on and uh, we move to the from the conventional to the advanced or unconventional thermal processing in which high energy density pulses are used for shorter duration here temperature or working temperature is high 
but the working time is very low or very uh, basically microsecond. So for example, it, this advanced or unconventional thermal processing can be used for machining purpose. Okay. And in which material will be removed by melting and evaporation and the working temperature is far above the vaporization temperature of the workplace. So this advanced AMPs or advanced thermal processes having some advantages over conventional techniques. First one is that the peak surface temperature is very high because in case of advanced type thermal processes, we are using a high energy pulses for a shorter duration. So the peak surface temperature is very high, more uniform temperature distribution. Okay. Because the heat is provided in a very localized zone. So distribution and temperature is uniform. Greater depth of penetration of heat and the end of pulse. The heat is applied on a localized zone. And therefore, penetration is very high. Heat is applied on a localized zone and the amount of energy is very high. Therefore, depth of penetration is obviously high and more precision accuracy. So the advanced thermal processes are more precise and more accurate than conventional types. But this is also having some drawbacks that it, it is associated with high capital investment. So okay, we have to, if we wish to carry out some advanced thermal processes, we need some extra amount of money in our pocket. Second one is that very high operating cost. Operating cost is also very high. Tooling system is very costly and high maintenance cost. whatever may be the drawbacks, the advantages are more in case of advanced thermal processes and therefore different advanced thermal processes are nowadays popular or nowadays uh, employing in different industries. Some of them are listed here. First one is the EDM process. Those are basically this list uh, includes the only the advanced thermal machining processes. Okay. First one is the EDM electric discharge machining in which high voltage is used as energy source and dielectric is a transfer medium. And the mechanism material remover is that bombardment of electrons. Now EBM, that is electron beam machining, where ionized material is used as an energy sources, energy source, but transfer medium is vacuum. And here also bombardment of electrons are used to remove the material from the workplace. Now LBM, LBM stands for basically laser beam machining where amplified light is used as energy source. Transfer medium is normal atmosphere and bombardment of photons basically used to remove the material from work surface. And then PAM and IBM is there. PAM, PAM stands for the plasma arc machining and IBM that is electron beam machining. That is in PAM, ionized material is used. Transfer medium is plasma and bombardment of heated ions. Among these five machining processes or five advanced thermal machining processes, PAM is having the highest MRR, but surface roughness is not so good. Okay. So now we move our uh, concentration of focus to the electric discharge machining. This is the first first machining process listed in uh, listed here. Electric discharge machining. So this process basically initiated by B. L. Lazarenko and N. I. Lazarenko in the 1943, and they, uh, though the spark discharge was first observed by the Sir Joseph Priestley in 1768, but till date, till 1943, it is not used for machining purpose. B. L. Lazarenko, N. I. Lazarenko is the first one who used this spark to remove the material from the difficult to machine materials. So this is the fundamental concept of the process principle of EDM process. This is tool or tool electrode, you can say. This is workpiece. Okay, a gap is there in between tool electrode and workpiece. And a dielectric fluid is flooded in between tool and workpiece. Tool is here connected to the negative part of the negative pole of the power supply. And this workpiece is connected to the positive pole of the power supply. This is the broader view of this machining zone. Now, as a sufficient potential difference is established between tool electrode and workpiece, the electrons start moving from electrode to the workpiece. That is called cold emission of electrons. Okay. Now, as the uh, as the electrons accelerates 
or gain up after gaining sufficient velocity as the electrodes move towards the workpiece it ionize the or it will break if the potential difference is higher than the breakdown voltage of the dielectric fluid this electrons ionize the dielectric fluid or break the dielectric fluid into positive ions and electrons positive ions and electrons and as a result a column of or a, a narrow ionized column will be formed in the closest distance between tool and workpiece and this is known as avalanche of electrons that is seen as spark and due to the spark a huge amount of heat will be generated and that the temperature rises near about 10000 to 12000 degree centigrade using this heat the material or the workpiece will be melted and vaporized and as a result we will get the final outcome this is the process principle that is cold emission of electrons and then electrons accelerate towards anode breaking up dielectric fluid into electrons and positive ions then narrow column of ionized dielectric fluid that is known as avalanche of electrons rising of temperature generation of temperatures that is 10000 degree to 12000 degree centigrade and you owing to this temperature the melting of vaporization of electrode materials and finally molten metal is evaporated by mechanical blast causing catalysis on the both electrodes okay a proper dielectric fluid is there or dielectric fluid flushing of dielectric fluid is there which will remove the mechanical metal debris from the machining zone for better process capabilities now coming to the experimental setup this is all about the process principle of edm machine now coming to the experimental setup of edm experimental setup of edm consists of mainly four sub elements first one is the power supply unit that will provide the pass dc supply across the tool workpiece gap then dielectric system which will provide flow of dielectric at a desired pressure and flow rate and to recirculate the dielectric the servo system which will maintain the constant tool and workpiece gap and finally the tool electrode that will basically edm process is a copy paste process if we wish to produce a surface we have to choose the same surface on the tool if we wish to cut a uh, uh, if we wish to basically this is a copy paste process and we can easily produce the replica of the tool on the workpiece so basically tool electrode is a replica of the shape to be produced in the workpiece so <clears throat> now coming to the second element this power supply it is uh, not a big issue for any edm setup the main issue is the dielectric system because it is responsible main responsible factor for the process capability so dielectric system basically these are the uh, necessary properties of any dielectric systems that it should be you know, electrically non conductive or it should be used act as insulator between tool and workpiece until the breakdown voltage is reached okay after breakdown voltage it will be act as conductive so it will be act as conductive conductive to act as flushing medium to remove the material by products from the tool workpiece gap after the machining process or after the spark uh, the metal will be removed or the from the workpiece as in metal will be removed from the workpiece uh, workpiece and we have to remove those metal debris from the workpiece zone and therefore a continuous flushing is there flushing is required which will be provided which is provided by dielectric system second third of third act third uh, operation of dielectric system is to act as coolant to remove the heat from a huge a uh, due to spark general due to spark a, a high temperature is there in the working zone and we have to remove that we have to remove that heat from the working zone so that the microstructural transformation can be minimized in the workpiece and for there and for this purpose dielectric system is also used and these dielectrics are used as coolant also should not react with the machine elements okay if dielectric system dielectric uh, dielectric is in corrosive in nature we can't use as use it because it may react with the machine element and may increase our maintenance cost absence of toxic vapor it is for the safety it is for safety purpose of the user should not cause fire hazards it is also for the safety purpose of the users and economically suitable is obviously of low cost so there are some examples of dielectric those are normally used for edm process first one is the hydrocarbon oils kerosenes silicon based oils deionized water and gas in most of the industries in uh, kerosenes are uh, kerosenes is used 
as dielectric fluid for EDM process. Now coming to the tool electrode, that is the third element of our setup. The desirable characteristics are high electrical conductivity. As the EDM process, the limitation of EDM process is that the tool and workpiece both should be conductive in nature. And therefore, the first desirable characteristic of tool electrode that the electrical conductivity should be high because this is the most responsible factor for your uh, which will uh, which should control the process capability of ADM process. Then thermal conductivity so that it can easily dissipate the heat, generated heat. Then high melting temperature. The tool electrode should be having high melting temperature so that the tool rate will would be minimum. Easier manufacturability because EDM process is a copy paste process. We can easily produce the replica of the tool. If we wish to produce any shape in the workpiece, we have to produce the same shape on the tool. So the manufacturability or the machinability of any material should be good enough so that we can easily uh, we, we can easily um, produce a shape on the tool. And obviously cheapness, obviously that means low cost. So selection criteria of tool electrode are that MRR, the material removal rate of the process, wear ratio, that is the ratio between MRR, the material removal rate, and tool wear rate, ease of shipping the electrode, easy manufacturability, and finally the cost. There's a typi uh, typical examples of defined tool materials. Tool materials are broadly classified in two groups, either metallic electrode or metallic tool material and non-metallic tool electrode. Metallic electrode, the list of metallic electrode consists of copper, brass, copper tungsten, copper boron, chromium copper, tellurium copper, aluminum alloy, silver tungsten and steel. Copper, brass, copper tungsten, copper boron, chromium copper and tellurium copper. Basically, these are having good thermal, con good electrical and thermal conductivity and good machinability. So you can easily shape into different, different uh, you can easily form into different shapes. This aluminum alloy, aluminum alloy is also very soft material and you can easily uh, uh, you can easily machine it into different shapes. Now silver tungsten. The silver tungsten basically a alloy of silver and tungsten. Silver will provide the uh, required conductivity, electrical conductivity, and tungsten will provide the required strength, high and high melting point. A steel is there, which is very much very easily available and low cost. One non-metallic tool are normally used. That is graphite. Graphite is having very good thermal con electrical and electrical conductivity. Now coming to the servo system, this is the main uh, sub-element of any machining setup of EDM. This is used to maintain the predetermined tool workpiece gap. A gap should be there in between tool and workpiece so that that spark can be generated, which is the responsible or which is the main energy source for material removal. So just that maintaining of that gap or controlling of that gap is done by servo system. The gap is sensed through the average voltage across the it and the voltage is compared with the preset value or initial value and the difference is used to control the servo motor. Basically a feedback or closed loop control system is there to maintain this gap. Okay, And it also depends on the dielectric flushing system. If dielectric flushing system is not proper then direct, it is difficult for the dielectric flushing system to remove the metal debris from the machining zone and which will uh, which will provide a error value to the control system and as a result it is difficult for the servo system to maintain the maintain the uh, maintain the or control the tool workpiece gap and for that we need a proper dielectric flushing system so we can use any servo motor for this purpose other alternatives are if you use to fabricate any setup or fabricate any EDM machine uh, in your lab you can use taper motor this is basically a this is a cheapest solution for you so you can use taper motor for this purpose this is basically other alternative if you wish to fabricate any set, setup of edm so these are process capability of edm process the drilling capabilities for 127 to 6.35 range 6.35 this is in uh, all data are in millimeter uh, so whole diameter that can be produced is Minimum hole diameter that can be produced by EDM processes that is 0 0.127 millimeters. That means 1 to 10 7 micrometer. 
aspect ratio that can be obtained is 10 to 30 whole depth is up to 50 then minimum taper maximum number of those dolt can be drilled simultaneously 200 minimum angle of inclination that is 20 degree then cutting capabilities are there we up to 50 mm up to 50 mm thickness can be cut by this process finishing capabilities surface roughness of 0.8 micron can be achieved by this process this edm process basically in edm most of the material is removed by the crater in the form of crater and due to spark and therefore the surface roughness that can be achieved by the process is not so good like ecm process or the other finishing processes so this is a mainly a problem for edm process but 0.8 map to 0.8 micron micron up to 8 micron surface roughness can be achieved by this process so there is no chemical damage okay because we use a dielectric that is not having any corrosional effect the mechanical deep damage that is up to 25 micron because a overcut is there and thermal damage that is 25 to 25 my 20 to 50 micron economic aspect coming to economic aspect initial investment obviously very high tooling and fixtures cost is also high power consumption cost very low tool consumption cost is high tool wear because that spark is generated and it will uh, remove the metal from both workpiece and tool and therefore a high tool wear is there uh, where is there okay see so in place of environment in uh, in this aspect of environmental that is safety is normal problem safety is not a big problem toxicity normal problem and contamination of machining mediums a normal problem so environmental aspect of safety is not a uh, headache for us main problem is the economy or the investment now coming to the material application edm can be used for any material but that material should be conductive in nature so all electrical conductive metals and alloys can be machined by this process super alloys can also can be machined by this process it is very difficult for the traditional process or conventional machining process to machine super alloys because the super alloys is having high hardness high strength to wear ratio and a low machinability but in case of edm metal is removed by the high temperature the temperature ranges near about 10000 to 12000 degree centigrade so it is not a problem for us if we use if we use uh, if we going to cut super alloys or if we going to machine super alloys by using edm process tungsten carbide and hard carbides can also be machined by this process this is the basically beauty of this technique and refractory is material if refractory is material which are having very high hardness and very high brittleness can be machined by edm process but the limitation is that but the that this refractory material should be conductive in nature now coming to the shape application different various shapes can be produced by this process 2d profiling can be done 3d contouring can be possible stamping of tool dies making blind complex cavities dealing of various hole shapes micro holes holes through cutting non-circular holes and cutting of narrow slots can be done by this process so this process is a very useful process and these processes are now very much popular in industries mainly tool die industries mainly tool die industries okay so this is all about electro discharge machining process now a question is there this is the basic basic question is there if both electrodes are more, uh, made of the same material okay in case of ecm what do we do why do we did that work piece is made of steel and uh, cathode is made of copper but in most of the cases in edm we use the same material for work piece and same material for ele tool electrode so now question is that if both electrodes are made of the same material then which electrode erodes faster? And the answer is positive electrode. Now why? Because the momentum with uh, basically the momentum with which stream of electrons strike the anode is much more than that due to the stream of positive ions impinging on the cathode and therefore the heat generated on the positive electrode part is higher than the negative electrode part and as a result positive will be electrode will be erode faster and another thing is that 
spirolysis of the dielectric fluid pyrolysis is a phenomena that uh, that creates a thin film of carbon on the cathode at the hue as due to spark a huge amount of temperature is generated on the machining zone and you due to that temperature the hydrocarbon will break and a thin film of carbon on the cathode will be formed this phenomenon is known as pyrolysis so these two phenomena are there for which are the responsible for uh, the uh, eroding of positive electrode faster or faster eroding of positive electrode so our main problem that edm process can be used for any material any conductive material regardless is hardness but main problem with this process is that cost a initial high initial investment is required so now our motto is that we are having a edm machine and it cost near about 40 lakh or 50 lakh so it can be used only for edm purpose or we can use it for other if other uh, purpose also so we think this way and tried something so that we can uh, use this edm process for other purpose also so use this concept this benefit basically this is the this beauty of this process the pyrolysis of the dielectric fluid or making up or creating of thin film of carbon the cathode for our benefit but how by using or by developing electro discharge coating process this is basically a modified version of edm process or electro discharge machining process where electro discharge machining is used for coating purpose not for material removal purpose in case of edm electro discharge or spark are used to remove the metal from the workpiece but here this discharge or this spark is used to produce a coat on the workpiece surface so this is the fundamental concept of the process principle of the electric discharge coating process here two electrode is there and electrode is connected to the positive part of the workpiece in case of edm process most of the time tool electrode is connected to the negative part of the workpiece not sorry negative part of the power supply and workpiece is connected to the positive part of power supply but in case of electric discharge coating the tool electrode is connected to the positive part of power supply and workpiece is connected to the negative part of power supply basically then uh, in case of positive electrode the material removal will be more so we need more material removal from the tool so that we can use that material for coating purpose so in case of electric discharge coating we just modify the edm process and change the polarity of the electrode and workpiece so here electrode is connected to the positive part of the power supply positive pole of the power supply and workpiece is connected to the negative pole of the power supply now dielectric fluid a gap is there in between electrode and workpiece the proper dielectric flushing is there in between electrode and workpiece and as a result edm process starts basically electric discharge process start and generation of heat a high temperature of heat but this most of the material will be removed from the electrode and for example if we use titanium or tungsten electrode the ti will be removed okay and this ti will be react with the carbon that is already decomposed for the high car hydrocarbon that is used as dielectric fluid so and this as a result and finally that will segregate on the workpiece surface as a titanium carbide or tungsten carbide layer this titanium carbide or tungsten carbide layer is very hard and uh, good for corrosion resistance property and good for wear resistance property so we <coughs> tried this technique for our purpose uh, and uh, having some good result having some good publication so i'm going to share these things with you so the total process or total study has been carried out in different steps first one is the workpiece selection an aluminum alloy of size 20 mm 20 mm and 5 mm has been selected as workpiece material because it is having some commercial and industrial importance in aerospace transportation and automotive industries aluminum alloys uh, nowadays are very uh, most popular basically popular metal after steel so aluminum alloy is used as workpiece here or selected as workpiece here surface modification of aluminum alloys using hard material like titanium 
improves its crack resistance, wear and corrosion resistance property, and thus its lifespan. So we have already carried out the chemical analysis of aluminum alloy, and it is having, it is basically a uh, alloy of manganese, uh, manganese and chromium, and this uh, these are the chemical analysis or the chemical composition of different elements present in the aluminum alloy. Now coming to the tool fabrication part. Basically, we need uh, a large amount of metal to be removed from the tool electrode. So if we use a tool that is made from casting, then it is really difficult to get metal deposition. And therefore, to, our solve, to solve our purpose, we use a powder metallurgy tool in place of casting tool. So that in case of powder metallurgy, bonding is not so good or not so as a, so strong like casting uh, casting tool and therefore in this case a powder metallurgy or keying compact tool is used so that we can easily get deposition of uh, titanium powder on the workpiece so a titanium carbide and copper powder of mes 325 that is the minimum mean diameter is 44 micron were chosen as materials of tool electrodes to realize the coating process of the workpiece surface this green electro tool electro were prepared by powder metallurgy process, the same process that compacting and sintering and thing using a 12 mm die and punch assembly. That means our tool is having the diameter of 12 mm. Now we need good conductivity because titanium, we need the coating of titanium only, but we mix copper so that we can improve the conductivity of the green compact tool. If you use, use only titanium because powder products is having powder products are having porous or uh, pores in the structure and therefore conductivity not so good to so improve that con but in case of EDM or HDC process we need good conductive material as tool material therefore copper is mixed here with titanium so that can we can improve the conductivity of the green compact tool now a 12 mm diameter green compact tool is produced and after that, a 12 mm diameter that green compact tool electrode were attached to the steel rod. This steel rod is basically is used to hold the. Uh, this steel rod is used for holding purpose in the machine, and because this steel rod will be fixed in the machining jaws. Okay, so this green compact tool electrode will be attached to the steel rods with the help of an electrically conductive adhesive. Okay. So that we can continue the or can we can make uh, we can make the complete part conductive. Now coming to the parameter selection. <coughs> now coming to the third step, that is parameter selection. Uh, normally basically all the parameters who are related to the EDM process or who are related to the powder metallurgy can are responsible for the final outcome are responsible for the final outcome in our study we only consider peak current pulse on time and electrode polarity as EDM related parameters and coating time and uh, uh, sorry electrode uh, composition and compaction as as powder metal is related parameter okay only two type of electrode polarity are used positive and negative positive means in which first case where uh, that electrode or tool electrode is used as positive electrode or where second case where a tool electrode is used as negative electrode coating time one minute two minute and three minute we have tried this process for one minute two minute and three minute peak current four ampere seven ampere and ten ampere 16 microsecond 160 microns and 260 microsecond are used as pulse on time electrode composition that is 50 percent 60 percent and 70 percent electrode compositions basically means the ratio of titanium and copper powder okay uh, for 50 percent that means titanium and copper powder in one is to one ratio it's 60 percent means titanium powder in 60 percent and 40 percent is copper powder if 70% that means titanium powder is in green compact tool, 70% of amount is of titanium powder and rest of the 30% is of copper powder. So as the titanium powder increases, the deposited layer 
or the hardness of the layer will be increased obviously but the problem is that the conductivity of the green compact tool will be decreased and therefore we need a optimal solution or optimal findings for this part now the compaction this is compaction this compaction basically related to the powder metallurgy portion 200 megapascal 300 megapascal and 400 megapascal is used for compaction pressure if we increase the compaction the bonding of the powder or the green compact tool will be more but problem is that the amount of deposition will be less so moving on our next part that is experimental work so so this is the pm tool or powder metallurgy green green compact tool that is uh, made of titanium and copper powder after the compacting and sintering process and this is attached to a steel rod attached to a steel rod by a electrically conductive adhesive and this is the final outcome or the, the this is the this this square object this square part is a basically aluminum workpiece of 20 mm 20 mm 5 mm dimension and this part this is the coated portion the same size is replicated here okay this is the coated portion So we have studied the uh, basically the effects of defined parameters on the depositor's layer thickness and micro hardness of the layer, and we found that the peak current, pulse on time, and electrode composition, uh, as the peak current, pulse on time, electrode composition increases, the depositor layer thickness increases. Peak current increases. That means more peak current, more amount of machining process, more amount of discharge energy more amount of discharge layer that's why discharge layer thickness increases with peak current if pulse on time increases that means discharge energy is more we will get more deposited layer electrode composition increase uh, electric composition increases that means more amount will be uh, more amount will be uh, deposited on the workpiece surface and compaction pressure if compaction pressure increases it is found that with increase in compaction pressure, the deposited layer thickness decreases. Why? Because as the compaction pressure increases, the bonding of the green compact tool will be increased. Okay. As a result, chances of depositing of metal or uh, coming out of metal from the green compact tool will be decreased. And that's why this deposited layer thickness decreases with compaction pressure. And this is the study where we the, which shows the effect of peak current pulse on time electrode composition and compaction pressure on micro hardness and it is observed that uh, this micro hardness is increased with peak current, increasing peak current pulse on time and electrode composition and the phenomena is uh, and the it the micro hardness decreases with compaction pressure because the because this micro hardness depend on the thickness of the deposited layer if deposited layer thickness increases that means the hardness will be more Sim will be more now after experiment we will come to the sample preparation part because we need some microstructural study so that we can check the deposited layer thickness micro hardness and the uh, and the composition of the uh, composition of the deposited layer deposited layer so that we can establish our finding and therefore in a comprehensive sample preparation start, sample preparation is required and for that cutting a work sample into two pieces a work sample is to cutting cut into two pieces through so the middle of the coating in the traverse direction we should also reveal the metal transfer okay this is the final outcome after the experiment so we have to cut in this way so can we the, uh, so that we can easily continue our further testing so a diamond wear saw with mean diameter of wear being 0.5 mm is employed okay embedding of wax sample in a bakelite mold exposing the section area to prevent the rounding of edges during the polishing of workpiece so so that we can easily hold it 
and easily we can carry out the polishing process then grinding and polishing has been done so grinding of the rock sample with the in the grinding we started from the uh, grinding disk and then we start with the emery paper that is ranges from 120 to 100 mesh size emery paper and then polishing of the ground work sample with water based diamond solution with diamond size ranging from 9 micron to 1 micron and then finally finish polishing by electro polishing machine okay which will be carried out with the help of uh, silica gel and uh, that is particle size is 0 0.05 micron and after the polishing process we will use 2% hydrogen fluoride solution to each the uh, each this work sample normally itching is done to uh, basically focus the grain boundaries so that it can easily if we place the work sample after the eating if we place the work sample on uh, uh, at the micro microscope we can easily find out or you can easily indicate the grain boundaries because grain boundaries are having high activation energy and they are ready to uh, chemically corrode up uh, by this type of agent Now coming to our testing part, <coughs> this deposited layer thickness was measured on an optical microscope. An optical microscope is used to check the deposited layer thickness and micro harness control unit and loading condition of 200 into 10 to the minus 3 nano, 3 minus uh, 3 newton is used to check the micro harness values. This is the photographic view of the deposited layer. Okay, this this darker one is the deposited layer and the lighter one or in white color or in gray this is gray color that is deposited layer and that a white one that is base metal okay this is the edx analysis of the work sample after the process and uh, before work sample you can check the chemical analysis of the aluminum you can it is uh, obvious that only in, in case of aluminum online only aluminum or manganese or chromium is there but after the process or after the edc process when we <coughs> carry out eds analysis of the workpiece sample we found that peaks of titanium and copper is there that means a layer is layer is deposited and that layer contains the titanium and copper now coming to a micro harness study it is found as the distance from surface increases, the micro hardness values decreases because at that part after 150 micron or after 100, you can say after 100 micron, the micro hardness value is almost uniform because after 100 micron, this the deposited layer thickness is up to 100 micron and after high by micron, this is base metal. That's why the hardness is uniform. If you check this part, that is this is the deposited layer, so you will get higher and higher highest hardness value on the top surface as we move downwards we will get lower value of hardness and in base metal zone we will get a uniform value of hardness and it is obvious from this plot that the hardness values goes down from the as the distance of surface increases and after 10 100 micron it becomes uniform okay this is only for this is for base metal now coming to the same analysis of scanning electron microscope analysis this is basically <coughs> surface at the top surface and this is after 100 micron after the deposited layer and that's why this deposition is there but base metal is also there this part only deposition layer is there but this part deposited layer and base metal both are there so this is basically the modified version of edm or we can use the edm process or it is used uh, the edm process is used for coating purpose so that we can uh, basically meet the cost of the initial investment of this machine setup and uh, so this process is basically in infancy stage and having huge scope for future research okay so some of them are listed here First scope is that it is a very practical technology having good prospect in various industrial applications because the process is economic and does not need special requirement. If you are already having an EDM machine, we can carry out this process. 
okay so we can carry out we can try different metal and different workpiece and we can produce a core corrosion resistance wear resistance coating on any workpiece material next spectroscopy is case variation in metal powder here titanium and copper is used for in different ratios so beside titanium tungsten powder can be used or other metallic powder can be used to produce some hard coating mesh size can be different here uh, 326 mesh size is used we can go for other different mesh sizes different material here workpiece is used as workpiece uh, sorry aluminum is used as workpiece material so you can by using this technique we can coat beside aluminum any other material for example copper for example steel or other material for example titanium study of tribological and corrosional behavior deposited layer needs proper attention during our study we already discussed about the microness of the workpiece or micro hardness of the final outcome but tribological properties and corrosional behavior is really a uh, determining factor for factor for this process capability of this technique and therefore the study of tribological and corrosional behavior needs proper attention and finally commercialization of the process i'm already <coughs> told about this this the problem of this advanced or hybrid machining process is that the commercialized these processes are yet to be commercialized those are very much proper those are popular in research labs or research institutes or the among the researchers of different um, premium institutes but it is really very um, really, it is really difficult to get a setup a machine setup or ready-made setup or ready-made fundamental ready-made concept in industries so we have to commercialize this process we can if it is possible then we have to commercialize this process for further industrial application so this is all about electric discharge coating now moving on to the next part that is very electric discharge machining and uh, discharge machining is an another extended version of the edm and uh, just before ending my lecture on my session i just uh, wish to give a brief introduction or brief a brief idea about what is very electric discharge machining and uh, the a patient scenario of this technique and what type of work can be done what type of work can be carried out in this process So aerospace industries, automotive industries, tool and dye industries, medical and marine industries require advanced materials, okay, because they are component used in the hostile environment, and therefore we require some new and traditional non-traditional materials like super alloys, titanium alloys, and we need some machining techniques so that can we can easily and cost effectively we can machine these materials, and therefore we need some new technique or new concept in the machining field. So very electro discharge machining, an extended version of the EDM process can meet this requirement and it can easily use for uh, <coughs> you can use uh, this process can be used to produce complex shapes or tricky shapes in the very hard or difficult to machine materials so wdm is electro electro thermoelectric type advanced machining process in wdm the removal material due to melting and vaporization like edm process the fundamental concept of WEDM or EDM is the same. The difference is that in case of EDM, different types of tools are used as the tool electrodes are used. But in case of wear EDM, it varies diameter of 0 0.5 to 3.3 millimeter is used as tool. Okay. A gap is between there, between workpiece and wear, that is 0.025, that ranges 0 0.025 micron a millimeter to 0.05 millimeter. So this is the process principle of WDM process. This is what piece part. Okay. A proper dielectric flushing system is there. In most of the cases in WDM, deionized water is used in place of kerosene, which is used in EDM. Okay. So work is there, dielectric flushing system is there, pump, filter, ionization chamber and deionized water is there. 
a wear guide and wear pulley is there for content and feeding of the wear. Okay, a gap is there there in between. This is the diameter. This is the uh, broader view of this part missing zone. This is the wear diameter, and this is workpiece. A gap is there that is known as spark gap. Okay, there. Rest of the process principle or rest of the concept is same as that of EDM process. Similarly, that this is obviously this wear is of made of conductive material. Either normally copper or zinc wear is used. Molybdenum wear is also used as tool. Say so rest of the principle is same. This advantages of WDM is that it generates high surface finish and accuracy. Can machine any complicated profile. So the basically the surface finish and accuracy depends on the diameter of the wear. If wear diameter is for the wear diameter ranges. Uh, it is it is from 0.5 micron 0.5 mm so we can get a gap or we can get a cut of 0.05 mm also so as a result we can produce high surface finish accuracy by wdm process wdm basically depends on basically in wdm machine we can cut any profile whether it is complex shape whether it is tricky shape we can easily cut by wdm process because the main fundamental concept is that main pro uh, main uh, if we check the working condition or working culture of the WDM, it is there that we have to provide the CAD model, basically CAD model of the shape to be produced. Okay, and if we produce, we can, if we use, if we can use different uh, softwares to produce that CAD model, and if we provide that CAD model to the WDM machine, WDM media machine can reproduce that shape on the workpiece. As a result, any complicated profile can be produced by WDM process. Less to stages and reaction. Okay. Stress concentration work material is negligible because never tool or tool wear comes into contact with the workpiece and therefore no stress concentration is there. Small batch production, including prototypes, can be economically machined. The time utilization of WDM is high and it can continuously work throughout the day. We can use a WDM machine for the whole day. And produce a large number of work with a large number of products, large number of products, and therefore it's this machine is very useful in industries. But both like other advanced machining processes, this WDM is also having some limitation. The material removal rate is slow, but in comparison to the conventional techniques, the, if we if we compare the material removal WDM with advanced machining process, then it is far better. But if we compare the material removal rate of WDM with <coughs> traditional machining processes, then it is slow material removal rate. In can machine only conductive materials. Basically, this is the limitation of all the three types of machining process, whether it is EDM, whether it is EDC, or whether it is WDM. The workpiece should be conductive in nature, regardless of hardness. Next. It is not applicable on large work pieces because we use a machining chamber and that machining chamber is having a fixed dimension. So if we use to cut some large work piece, we need some large size of machine. Okay. Formation of liquor layer and hedge, right? heat affected zone. A huge amount of energy is generated or a huge amount of heat energy is generated as a working zone that ranges, the temperature ranges near about 10,000 degrees to 12,000 degrees, 12,000 degrees centigrade. As a result, there is a huge chance of formation of recast layer and heat affected zone, which will basically uh, change the, the, which will create a phase transformation or microstructural transformation of the workpiece surface, which will basically control the metallurgical or mechanical properties of the workpiece. So this, this is really a issue for us, really a big issue for us basically. And last one is the wear package. This is the this is one of the problem that. If we wish to cut some hard material or powder products, green powder compact, green compact products, then wear package is a basically very essential problem. Very essential problem. But but, this wear package, this wear package problem can be minimized by setting uh, by finding the optimal setting of parameters, but cannot be completely avoided. Now coming to the application of WDM, WDM having huge applications in different fields, for example, medical field, aerospace field, automobile industries, general industries, and tool and dye industries. But presently, this technique is widely used in tool and dye industries. 
almost all the two wheeler die industry having one or more than one number of machines in their shop load these are typical applications of wdm process these components um, can be these components are manufactured by wdm process you can cut gear spline or simple fins bevel gears also by this process you can produce you can easily cut miniature gear that having outer diameter below 10 mm by this process now coming to the research status most of the if we go through the literature literature available on this field it is available that most of the work has been carried out on steel because steel is on steel but if we check that only 5% amount of publication are on safe memory alloys so if we, anyone wish to carry research carry out, carry out his research career on this field he can choose safe memory alloys as his workpiece material because super alloy is there which is having only 18% of work now coming to the super alloys that most of the work has been carried out on inconel okay but has the alloy and monel having low low amount of work so if you anyone wish to carry out a research work or carry out this field as his research or phd work he can took this has alloy as his workpiece material now coming to the future scope it is evident from the past research work the wdm process is mostly employed for cutting operation though this process can be used for other processes like state turning step turning or taper turning so we can modify the wdm setup for this is for solving these type of problems like step turning step turning or taper turning normally square cut or rap cut are done by wdm process so w but besides this wdm is a huge capability and can produce complex geometries like gear spline and curved surface some of the works are presently going on or wdm of gears they are trying to produce some miniatures gears by wdm okay if we go for but if we uh shifted if we wish to shift or if we shift our focus from circular gear to non circular gear then i think this is the best option for non circular gears if we wish to cut non circular gear or if we wish to produce non circular gear then wdm is the best process first research work focus on the machining of war metal it is already i told that most of the work uh, were concentrated in the field of steel machining of steel alloys aluminum alloys or composites wdm difficult to machine materials namely super alloys titanium alloys and safe memory alloys requires proper attention okay the past research work highlights the influence of input process parameter namely pulse on time pulse on time servo voltage effect of other input parameters all should be studied so that we can easily uh, finalize the optimum value of defined parameters so that we can get good or uh, experimental outcome in the study of contribution of individual input process parameter are required proper investigation the edm process mechanism material removal and wear breakage in case of difficult to machine material is not well established and finally the typological and corrosional behavior and surface integrity aspects of the wdm machine parts are not elaborated discussed in literature so there are some of the future research work or future trend for research that can be carried out that can be carried out in the field of wdm this obviously another some of some of them are already here that is mathematical theoretical model of response parameter application of defined optimization techniques and other modification or other extension of this technique that is dry or near dry wdm okay day by day we are moving from uh, basically normal machining processes to the green machining processes that means minimizing the use of coolant or dielectric or uh, lubricant so we can go for dry or near dry wdm so that we can minimize the cost of dielectric fluid we can minimize the if problems of dielectric fluid we can uh, minimize the uh, we can uh, basically omit the use of dielectric systems and we can use by by this we can easily cut down the cost of the machine so this is a, another extension of this process the dry or near dry wdm in which compress air or mist is used as dielectric fluid 
and compressed air and uh, mist are very uh, uh, is a, uh, you can get it in very low cost so you can cut down the machining cost also so this is all about wdm process edm process and indc process thank you very much